Hey everyone, it's John from Ride Upstate, and this is my second time recording this video, so it's going to be a lot shorter <laughs> than the first one, because I don't know what happened. My mic wasn't working when I was doing the first recording, but I'm going to be talking about week five of my road to a 90% acceptance rate. I've gotten a lot of comments about why the heck are you doing an acceptance rate challenge, blah, blah, blah. It's an experiment, folks. All right. If you don't want to watch it, just move along. Okay. <laughs> that's, that, that's it. That's it. It's just an experiment. Okay. So week five was from October 2nd to October 8th. I did 10 trips during that week on two days, Monday and Tuesday for $138. The vast majority of the trips were on my way to or from work. So I I don't really count all the miles, okay, because all the miles don't affect me because I'm making the trip anyway. I drive into work four days a week, um, and so I, it's like a bonus for me. So if I drive 15 miles on a trip – and I only get paid 10 bucks, and 12 of those miles are miles that I would have driven anyway to go to work. It's only like I drove three miles to get $10. So uh, I know I'm going to have to continue explaining that throughout this series because people are going to pop in in the middle of the series and not understand where I'm getting my numbers from. I don't have Gridwise open right now. Um, so all these numbers that I'm giving you are from the Uber app. So they're going to be on trip time and um, on trip miles. So while I'm online. So like I said, 10 trips, $138. That comes out to an average of $13.80 per trip. So I drove five hours and 40 minutes on the clock, so to speak. And so that comes out to about $24 per hour before expenses. And the on-trip mileage was 98 miles for $1.40 a mile. So five of my passengers tipped. So I got a 50% tip rate. That's not too bad. Not going to complain about that. There was one trip, however, that really got my goat. And this was an evening trip. It was a long trip. Um, the payout dollars per mile was absolutely horrific. Uh, but the dollars per hour was extremely high. Um, I'm just going to look at my phone here real quick. So it, it was a 52-minute trip for $39. All right. Um, I did have to go past my house by about 15, 20 miles, not that much really. Um, the thing that really ticked me off about this is the upfront fare was more than what I got paid and it was on a surge. So I got the upfront fare was $40.94. It paid out $30.19. And like I said, plus there was a surge. So theoretically, that surge should have gone up. And the other thing that really was upsetting about this, you know, if you ask someone to take you on a long trip and anything over, for me, in my opinion, anything over 10 miles is a long trip, okay? In my area, you're going to be in the car for at least a half hour with that person, depending on where you're going. If you're going 10 miles, you should tip. This passenger did not tip, and it was in the evening. I was just like really flabbergasted. Not even a dollar, okay? So that was the one that kind of upset me. Despite that trip, I still had a mileage rate under, uh, oh, I mean, over a dollar a mile, which is good. I think my, I don't recall all the numbers off the top of my head. I think the acceptance rate was at 68% at the beginning of this week. 
and I think I got it down to about, uh, I got it, no, not 68, I'm sorry. I think my acceptance rate was around 64% this week, and I think I got it a little bit higher. I don't remember all the numbers. And I know that my cancellation rate went down as well by a percentage point. So I think as I get closer to the end of this, closer to the end of the year, my acceptance rate is going to go up exponentially because all those trips that I denied earlier on are going to start falling off. So hopefully, I think for, you know, like, Real time for me, it's going to be about two weeks. As you can tell here, you're about two weeks behind me. So you're probably going to see that acceptance rate get up to 70 in about two to three weeks. And I think I'll, I think I'll hit 90% by the end of the year. If I can do a bunch of little short ticky-tacky rides, um, I think that'll work. We got Halloween coming up, and I live in a small college town. And I can do five trips in an hour <laughs> uh, on on uh, the weekend of Halloween. So we'll see how things go. Until next time, my name's John from Ride Upstate, reminding you that just because you live in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. Bye.